Aloha, it's Scott Manley here, still on holiday in Hawaii, but I have a little bit of an exclusive for you. Now, uh, Kerbal Space Program, as you know, they are working on the 1.0 release, and there's a lot of changes going into this. And we've talked about they've talked about a number of different uh, features, you know, new improvements to the astronauts, and uh, improvements to science, improvements to uh, the aerodynamics model. But I want to talk about uh, some a new feature that's been added to the atmospheric effects. Now, if you've played the game, you'll know that there's essentially two atmospheric effects which are modeled right now. One is at high altitude and high velocities you will get ram heating which will produce the fiery red re-entry effect right it's a very simple model of course and it doesn't at this time cause damage to the spacecraft and uh, we're not going to see that anytime soon uh, lower down you get the the Mach effects also which are really uh, trying to emulate the effects of the Prandtl glart singularity which is of course something I've just butchered there is the lesser known sleuth effect which occurs at the right velocity and altitude and what happens here is that the water droplets that form as the result of uh, the correct atmosphere and pressure uh, you know, changes essentially the droplets get larger and they get large enough to refract light and the upshot of this is of course the the white light gets split into its component parts now on top of this the uh, the air the shock wave generates a an interesting oscillating effect, which uh, is very characteristic sound and it's very hard to to uh, describe with words. So it's best to just see the Kerbal emulation of this. And here we go. It's just kicking in now. And there you go, science at work. Coming to a Kerbal Space Program near you sometime soon. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.